ChatGPT and Grok are both large language models that can generate text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content and answer your questions in an innovative way. However, they differ in a few key ways. Welcome to VAR India News R. ChatGPT, created by OpenAI, draws its knowledge from a wide array of sources, including common crawl, web content, books, and Wikipedia. Whereas Grok is trained using real-time data derived from the X platform, providing it with a unique advantage in terms of up-to-the-minute information. One key difference is their training data. ChatGPT is trained on a massive data set of text and code, including common crawl, web content, books, and Wikipedia. This gives ChatGPT a broad knowledge base and the ability to generate text that is both factual and creative. Whereas Grok, on the other hand, is trained on real-time data derived from the X platform. This gives Grok a unique advantage in terms of up-to-the-time information. Grok is also able to access and process information from the X platform in real time, which means that it can provide more comprehensive and informative answers to your questions. Another key difference between ChatGPT and Grok is their availability. ChatGPT is currently available to the public, while Grok is currently in early beta testing. This means that Grok is not yet as widely available as ChatGPT, but it is expected to be released to the public in the near future. Overall, ChatGPT and Grok are both powerful LLMs that offer a variety of features and benefits. However, they differ in a few key ways such as their training data and availability. Now, the question is, which LLM is better for you will depend on your specific needs and requirements. If you need access to the most up-to-date information or need to process information from the X platform, then Grok may be the better choice for you. If you need an LLM with a broad knowledge base and the ability to generate both factual and creative text, then ChatGPT may be a better choice. OpenAI claims that Grok can outperform models trained on large datasets and with higher computational requirements despite being trained on less data. Elon Musk even stated that, in some respects, Grok is the best available AI model. Let's look into today's headlines. Google's security update resolves Android 14 storage problems. Google has released a patch for an Android 14 flaw that affected storage on Pixel smartphones. Some users were unable to access local storage or were stuck in a boot loop. Some people may be able to recover their data after installing the security patch, but others may suffer permanent data loss. The latest Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro variants were also afflicted by the problem. Microsoft planning to include AI Copilot in Windows 10. Microsoft is apparently working on delivering the AI Copilot capabilities from Windows 11 to Windows 10 users as well as a number of selected new features and services. The move could help Microsoft reach the estimated 1 billion users who still use Windows 10. The Copilot button will be added to the taskbar in Windows 10. WhatsApp improves call privacy by hiding IP addresses. The new WhatsApp feature allows users to conceal their location during talks. By blocking others from viewing users' IP address metadata, the feature improves privacy. The new function is part of Meta's broader efforts to improve WhatsApp customers' privacy. The function is available on both Android and iOS devices. Adani Enterprises aims big on data centers with a spending of $1.5 billion. Gautam Adani's Adani Enterprises will spend around $1.5 billion on its fledgling data center business in the next three years. The annual capital expenditure on the data center business called Adani Connects Private, a joint venture with the global data center provider Edge Connects Inc. is expected to be about $500 million this year as well as the next two years. The company is planning to build nine data centers. TeamViewer Tensor now integrated with SAP Service Cloud. TeamViewer has announced the integration of TeamViewer Tensor, that is Enterprise Remote Support, an SAP endorsed app with SAP Service Cloud, a solution to deliver fast and personalized customer service and increase service efficiency. 
This integration helps businesses that use SAP technologies to increase their client satisfaction by improving productivity for critical service processes through team viewer tensors, enterprise grade remote support and management capabilities. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.